Hello, 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 guys. How's everybody doing this evening? Welcome, welcome. Doing some late night crafting. Have you guys seen on the website um, our beautiful, 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 like I love this, um, North Pole sign? Just trying to line it up here a bit. Let's get the brushes out of the way. Um, the beautiful North Pole sign. Brittany did one already and she painted it up and it looked fabulous. It's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but it's it goes together pretty easily. Um, she did it up and we took it to the last sale and like it sold. Christine's actually got it. Christine's watching. Woo! We're going to paint up the North Pole sign tonight. That's the project. So as you're jumping on, guys, make sure you give me the hashtag live so I know who's watching. Um, give me a hashtag replay if you're watching on the replay, of course. And uh, let's get at it. It's not really a big project. It's two colors in total. Hopefully I can get this open so we can do this. Oh, there we go. Um, just two colors. That's it. Verilyn, hello. Did you get my message, sweetie? I replied um, to our comment on the last video today. We were talking about your order that didn't show up yet. Um, I'm actually going to try and get hold of Canada Post tomorrow. Good night, sweet pea. Good night. Uh, I'm going to try and get hold of Canada Post tomorrow because it says it's sitting in... I took a note here. It says it's sitting in Richmond, B.C., and it's been sitting there since November 29th at 1 p.m. So, um, I don't know that area. You'd probably even know. Um, Richmond, um, Richmond, B.C., is that the flooded area? Polly, where you go? Um, is that the flooded area? Like... Um, what I'm curious about is, is your parcel demolished? Is it flooded? Is it ruined? Did something happen to it and I need to send you a new one? Or is it just being held up? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So I'm going to start off with this project. Um, I'm removing all the little bits and pieces here. There's quite a few. And we're going to paint the surface red and get it out of the way. And then we'll come back and we'll paint Everything else is going to be white. Hi, Lori. So, yeah, Verilyn, um, do you know that area very well? Like, is that is that flood zone? Like, should I be worried about it being gone? Okay, it is in the flood zone. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm wondering, is your parcel, like, did something happen? Did, you know, the truck get stuck and everything got soaked and wrecked or... Um, you know, demolished, or is, that's just, you know, one of the examples. I have no idea how that works. Um, or, um, or is it just held up is what I've got to figure out. So I'm going to call Canada Post tomorrow and do a checkup on that. And then I'll let you know what I find out. And I truly, 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 I'm sorry. But yeah, if it's, if it's, you know, lost out there and not on its way to you, then I'm more than happy to send you out another one. No charge. Just replace it because I want you to get your products. So what I'm using tonight is I'm using Country Chic Paint. If you uh, want Country Chic Paint, we do have it on the website. Um, this one is my favorite red. It's the Cranberry Sauce. I think we have one left. I believe there's one left. Um, if you are interested. Um, but, you know, you can use any red that you love and I want it to still have the wood grain this morning when I was working on the other one I didn't want the wood grain now I want the wood grain so I'm doing a very light one coat if I miss spots then I'll have to touch it up obviously but basically just one coat and I want the wood grain to show up so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to take my mister bottle and just spritz my brush so it's a little damp. And so that the paint just works more like a stain than an actual full coverage paint. Now Brittany did hers 
that it looked like a more all like a full coverage I think she did two coats and she was using a different brand of paint I'm not sure if she even used chalk paint or acrylic paint but um, hers look fabulous but I love the rustic look and so I want mine to look more like a red stain on it in fact to pick up the pace I could probably just do it with a baby wipe maybe that's what I should do So how's everybody doing? Did you have a good day today? I don't like this brush. It's too big of a surface for a sponge brush. I'm not a big fan of the sponge brushes, but gotta be honest. Just give me one second to find a good brush. We're doing a big piece. Let me find a bigger brush. I'm gonna grab my S30. S30? No, S50. Klingon brush. I love these brushes. So much faster. Gives you much more satisfaction. Sat I can't even talk. Can't get my words right tonight. Again. Oh no, no, don't don't worry about making me feel bad, sweetie. I really, really, really appreciate you letting me know because, like, you know, happy customers is what this is all about. If you guys aren't happy, then there's no point in me doing my job. I can't read the whole comment. It doesn't let me. I know if I hit see more, I might actually lose you totally, but I will go back and read the rest of the comment after. But yeah, don't feel bad that, that I feel bad. <laughs> Let's not get in that vicious circle. But um, I need to know, like, it's, you know, I want you to have what you paid for. So that's the main, the main thing. But if it's like on its way and it's at your door, you know, within the next day or so, there's not much point in me replacing, right? So I'll look into it tomorrow. There we go. That's better. So it's just a quick slapstick coat. Don't have to go all the way to the edges. In fact, I prefer not to go all the way to the edges because um, that's how the glue is going to stick better, anyways. So there we go. I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to show you that you can still see the score lines through it. But these score lines aren't like the score lines of the last piece. I should have had it over here. Um, the one that we did earlier today of. Um, let it snow you really wanted it to stand out that score marks in behind this one you don't because we're going to be covering it up anyways this one is just to show you the placement for the next pieces so we're going to set that aside i'm going to reach down here and grab my tape board that we used earlier and then i'm just going to hi sweet pea what are you doing you need the time? Yeah. I don't even know if that phone's on. It's not? No. All right. Sorry. I'll go check this one then. Okay. I think it's like 10 o'clock or a little after. Are you trying to set your clock upstairs? Yeah. Oh, okay. Been off for a while. All righty. It's ahead. I don't know why. Don't know? Oh, not here. Good night. Good night. Sorry guys, Maya's just heading off to bed. No worries, kiddo. So I'm just going to stick all my letters down. It's basically, it's just a piece of wood um, with some masking tape on it to help hold everything into place. And then I just stick all my pieces down and it makes painting it so much easier. And as you can see, there's black on it already because we used it earlier, but it's not going to interfere with it. We've got 
some snow caps and we got some puzzle pieces here that one's kind of big I can let that one sit out got a snowflake got some little words how many of you have ordered this one? I know we've sold quite a few of them. I would love to see your pictures of your finished pieces if you did order it. So I'm not sticking them down in any order. I'm just sticking them down because they're all white. Making sure I can get them all on here somewhere all right this last snow capping you can set it up there all right so we got it all kind of held down into place it's just going to make painting it much easier much faster i'm going to close up that red and get it out of the way and i'm going to grab my simplicity white it's the whitest of whites hi tina hi janet so Simplicity White is the whitest white, guys. And we are going to grab a... Maybe I'll go with a sponge brush for this one. A sponge brush. And I am going to find a clean spot on my mat here. And I'm just going to offload a little bit. Just because I don't want it dripping down all the sides of my pieces. We're just going to give it a good, quick white coat. Now, you will find most of the time that you're going to need two coats of white. It just seems to soak into the wood. It just seems to be the way it is. It looks like a lot of pieces, but don't be overwhelmed because, like, really, it does go fast. Hi Karen, hi Jennifer, thanks for watching guys. Tonight we are working on our North Pole sign. It's going to be so cute. And then if you're wondering about all these little holes, I'm going to show you how you could light it up after. This sign is made so that you can light it up if you want to. Now, the only thing is, is I went to the dollar store um, a while back and I bought the lights for this. But I made a mistake when I bought the lights. Just give me a second, I'll show you. I went and I bought one of these sets. They're just cheapy lights at the dollar store. Um, they looked white. Um, but they're not. They're multicolored, and I really want white lights. So I'll show you what it looks like and how to hook up the lights. But um, we're not going to make them permanent because I need to buy white ones. I really need them to be the pure white. A little bit of dripping down the side, but I'm not too worried about it. It'll look like snow. It didn't offload enough. Okay, let's get our W here. And then we'll go into our north. So if you have your um, paint pens, you could use those if you prefer to use those. Um, you can use acrylic paint. You can use chalk paint. This is a chalk mineral paint. Um, really, any which way you want to do this is totally up to you. But I love the chalk paints. I love that flat looking paint. But um, the paint pens would work well on this too. Like your Poscas or your um, Craft Smarts, whichever brand you're you're using. Okay. 
if you're new to the page, let me know so in the comments. And if you're new to buying from the website and this is your first project, it's actually a really good project to do for your first one. Because it's, although there's a lot of pieces, it is pretty, um, pretty easy to do when it's just the two colors. It's not as overwhelming as some of them where you get into the multicolors and the, the tiny little pieces. Yes, you did. Oh, Mavis is on tonight. Hi, Mavis. Is your daughter's shop or your daughter-in-law's shop open now, Mavis? I know you've been working on it. Did you get it all done or are you in the final stages? And yep, Tina, you did order one of these. You're going to love it. And I can't wait to see the pictures. Well, I, I can wait. I'm not saying rush. <laughs> I'm just saying I can't wait to see them. I'm looking forward to it. That's what I should say. I love the little squiggles. They're so cute. But remember, they are fragile. They are very fine. And uh, so be careful with them when you're, when you're playing with them here. Another thing you can do if you really like this project but you don't like painting, I can't imagine, but I'm sure there is people out there that don't like painting, um, you could easily, and this is what I'll be doing probably next year for craft shows because I know this is going to be a good seller next year, again, um, is you could take this and just set it outside if you've got nice weather and uh, just like spray bomb it with spray paint. Like those, um, I would use the chalk cans. But yeah, you could totally just spray bomb this because it's all one color. Make it quick and easy. You could even do that with the red if you wanted to, but then you're not going to see the score lines as easily. So I'd probably still brush that, but I'd take chalk paint white and just spray paint this. Especially if you're doing multi of them for a craft show. You could just line up like 10 of these in a row, right? And just bang them all out. Sometimes sitting there with the uh, paint pens or the paintbrush and doing the same thing over and over 10 times isn't quite as fun. I've got a little water paint in there, but it's going to be okay. <clears throat> you just don't know what all you got. Yeah, that happens. That's what happens when I order the Chalk Couture stuff. I order it and I'm like all excited and sometimes before the order comes in, I'm like itching for Chalk Couture, right? And I've placed another order and then it comes in and I'm like, oops, I've ordered two of those. It happens. You know you really love it when you did that. All right, down to our last piece. And then we can go back and see. Yep, we're dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry this all real quick and move my paint can out of the way because I don't wanna dry that. Oh, I'm tangled. I'm tangled around the glue gun. There we go. Give these a quick dry. And then I'm going to tap them all down with, tap it, you know, lightly rub it down with the sandpaper. Just knock down the high points, all those fibers that want to stand up. And then put my second coat on, which is just a light coat, because it's pretty white already. And then we're on to the gluing. And that's it, that's all. You missed one of your mystery packs? One of your mystery pack. I'm not sure what you're talking about. What the, What is a mystery pack? That wasn't me, right? 
I don't have a mystery pack. I didn't miss something in the order. That's why I'm asking. I didn't miss anything in your order, did I? A little wet there. A little wet there. Nope, that was tape. Okay. See, we're dry already. So now I'm just going to grab my little sander. Actually, not that one because that's the heavy grit. This one's getting well loved. It's just my little tiny sander. And it's a 220 grit. And literally all I'm going to do is just lightly rub it down just like that. And that's going to smooth it right out. There's no pressure to it. It's just a little quick light rub down. And it's just going to smooth it out. If you haven't done the sanding in between your layers before paint, just give it the light rub down. You will be amazed at the difference. I don't always do it, but there's just certain times that I definitely want that smoothness. Smooth as a baby's bum. be amazed at the difference just by that light rubbing on it. And then we're going to give it our second coat real quick. Oh, CC did. You got it already? Well, the rest of the Black Friday sale. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Whoa, hold down the fort. Um, I got to know here. When you're saying your Black Friday sale, that is not... I didn't order anything Black Friday sale, I don't think, right? That is not new products, right? That's not the new Valentine stuff. Because I haven't even heard. I don't think ours is even shipped out yet. I'll be so jealous if you got your Valentine one already. Because I asked Brittany today. I was like, hey, did our order even ship yet? And she was like, it still says that um, they pulled the file or whatever. Okay, not the new stuff. Okay. Good, good. Because I have heard some people got it already. That's why I got Brittany to check. So I was like, has it shipped? But no, not yet. I'm quite proud of the fact I ship faster than they do. <clears throat> I make my stuff in-house and still ship it faster. <laughs> so just giving it that second coat just to make sure we got a nice crisp white so it really pops. I just broke my the. Do you see that? I broke it, but nobody's going to notice. I'm going to glue it back together. That's what I mean about them being fragile. I hit it too hard with the paintbrush. There's nothing I can do about that. I couldn't make them more durable for you. I do apologize for that, but that's just, it needs to be tiny and we just need to be careful. And if you're like me and you make the blooper, it's okay. You can glue it into place and no one's going to notice. A little more paint offloaded on my mat. Also, you could use your dabbers if you want, but this just seems so much easier. 
and quicker because it's a lot of pieces. I didn't want to keep you here too long, right? So. house is so quiet everybody's gone to bed let me know if I'm breaking up because this morning I tried to do a live well, I guess it was this afternoon um, and it was horrible it just kept like lagging and breaking up it was so bad I hope it doesn't do that during the replay as well but it was horrible so I waited tonight because I couldn't even seriously, like this afternoon, I tried to watch a Netflix movie after that. I couldn't even watch a Netflix movie or a Hallmark movie because it just kept buffering. So our internet, for some reason today, was worse than usual. It's nice weather and stuff, so I don't know what's up. But um, I couldn't come back on because I have actually another project after this to do. That I thought, okay, I'm going to crack three of them out with you today. And I didn't get to do it because our internet was so bad. So I'm hoping tonight it's working better. I waited till everybody went to bed. There's nothing running. I even shut off the dryer because for some reason that seems to affect it. Oh, thanks, Karen. You're so sweet. I sound like a robot. Oh, I sounded like a robot. Okay, because I'm like, I don't I don't think I sound like a robot tonight, but maybe I do. Um, there's worse things I could sound like. I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was really lagging. I could see it here, but there was nothing I could do. I really, really, really need the internet companies to, like, Bring us out some good internet out here in the boonies. It's really disappointing when five minutes down the road, there's people that have the new fiber optic. But then it turned and it went down another side road. It I can't even knock on the counter because it's a plastic table now. I gave a wooden craft table to my daughter. I know. You're saying, oh no, because I'm lagging again, right? I looked up and I was frozen. Gosh, golly gee. I don't know why. Wait till you see lights with this. It's going to be fabulous. If for some reason I lose you, I will pop back on and do it. Just saying. Stay tuned. Because it's going to be worth it. Isn't that amazing how quick it dries?
you start with the words that's what I'm going to start with okay so I'm going to take my W and I'm going to take a little of my stick fast glue And I'm just going to look down for those score lines, and that's exactly where I'm going to lay it. It fits perfectly. Now, with some of the fine words, you might find that you just need to, like, lightly, lightly touch it. Because when you've painted it, it might have shifted a bit. Does that make sense? Especially if you broke your word like I did. I moved it okay so now I got a little problem see you gotta love it I'm so real you probably can't even see it but I'm so honest that I'm gonna tell you I got a little problem That's my T and part of my H because it broke. Let's get that down. And I've got my given H, the hump of the H, and the E. We're good again. We're good again. I'm so sorry, guys. And we'll get that right down there, and you can't even see. I, I'll take a little tiny paintbrush after and just. Oh, I can do it right now. I can do it right now. Okay, so just where the where the little split is, where it broke, there's a tiny speck of the bare wood that you can see. So I'm just going to take a paintbrush. And I'm just going to touch that. And then you won't even see it after. Good as new. Okay. Now we're going to get our papers on. I do love this portal because there's no figuring out if the properly spaced. She's going crazy. <laughs> oh, I must be getting tired. I'm starting to get silly. Anybody else like that?
it doesn't take long for it to set up with this stuff, so you can just keep moving your weight along if you need a weight. how quick we're moving right along here. Everyone in your house has gone to bed too? Where are the night hawks tonight, Tina? I don't know if you have any um, religious background, but it reminds me of a song my mom used to sing. Um, when it was quiet in the house, it's, it's a church song, of course, but, um, as you move, um, it's that uh, blessed quietness, holy quietness, rest assured, do not so, the last storm you see, it's peace to me, while the billows cease to roll, that's what I think of when the, ho every, the house goes quiet, and I can hear my mama singing that song. She used to sing it when I'd go to bed. And then she'd sit down to watch the news and, you know, have a snack or whatever. But it was kind of our little, her little joke when the house went quiet at night. But if you had a house full of foster kids... <laughs> You'd look forward to that quiet time at night, too. It was her time of sanity, I'm sure, some days. Look how quick it's going. Love these little spirally things. Beautiful. So, um, we will have all these um, products on the website until I believe Christmas, maybe Boxing Day, depending how crazy our life gets around the, that time too. Um, and then we'll have to start making a change where the Christmas stuff will go away and we'll bring out, um, I believe all season winter will stay out. And then we'll be jumping into like Valentine's Day and maybe just like a few pretty home decor pieces too, like basic, you know, that you could leave out any time of the year. But we've already been working on our next products. It's crazy. We're, we're celebrating Christmas. We're finishing Christmas pieces. But we are designing already for January. Keep you busy. you're going to line up with the holes underneath. Now you're going to notice that the holes in the background are actually bigger than these front holes. And that's so that it gives you space for your light bulbs, depending on what kind of light bulbs you're using. Um, this is the set that I have here really didn't need it, but if you're using the thicker light bulbs, you would need that. So you're going to line it up right in the corner. And it's going to go right along like that. Just make sure you've got it right in the corner. Flush. And then the holes will line up so that you can see through them. See? And 
And just kind of like set them out before you glue them down. Make sure you've got it figured out. Okay, I am going to show you that piece next before I glue it. This piece here seems a little wonky, but it's going to make sense once you do it. So it's your longer piece. It's got three holes in it. You'll notice that this side has four holes, but it does fit on this side. And up here, we're going to start that funny little corner up on the top. It kind of just works its way around there. And you're going to see after how that all fits together. But at first, when I when I was building it, and I was like, wait, wait a second, what do we do? Uh, it, it looked a little wonky to me, but after you get it figured out, you're going to be like, oh, that's cool. So it just fits right in here in my other corner. Okay, so the next piece is actually this wonky looking guy. He's got lots of bumps and zigzags and stuff. Um, if you go back onto the website, if you need to look at the picture, um, if you like, look closely at it, you can see all the different lines in between. Okay, so you can see the seams and then you can figure out which piece goes where. Just in case. So this one lines up in that corner, and then it lines up on the top. And I'm going to show you up close. See, it's kind of a wonky looking corner. But you can see after the two pieces come together, it does make that circle. And then this piece we're going to fill in with a snow cap after. So make sure you got it glued down. And then we're going to come over to the other side and it's this piece here that's got two holes and the long, it almost looks like a dragged hole, but that's actually part of the snow comes down in there. So again, you're going to line up your mitered corner. And just look through, make sure you got your holes lined up. Sorry, I'm just reading comments as I go. That's why my silence and then a smirk, right? Um, sorry about that. So I'm going to take these three off. Let's move my tape board out of the way so we don't get glitter all over it. Grab my piece of parchment paper. Close up this glue for a second. Or at least I Or you can use your Elmer glue or your craft glue or whatever you want. But you're going to want to take your three snow caps. Snow caps because there's no holes in them. And they're kind of just like long shapes. Did you put away? Let's grab a paintbrush. My paintbrush is water based, so as long as you don't let it harden on your brush. Um, you can, you know, just wash it with some water. So I'm going to use the curvy ink pen for your montage guys. It's totally fine. And you're just going to paint on a very liberal, very wet, heavy coat of your Mod Podge or your Elmer glue or whatever you got. You want to make sure you have it painted white first, just so, you know, that round color of the wood doesn't show through. You want a good heavy coat of the Mod Podge. Okay. We're going to work quickly 
And I'm not even worried about it overspilling on the sides because a little snow over the edges is going to be totally good. Last one here. I've got my good layer on there. Close this up because it wouldn't be good if I got glitter in there. But yeah, you can always go back and watch this video again while you're crafting it too, right? So, okay, so we got our Mod Podge layer on. And then we applied our sprinkles. Our, it's just, it was cheap. It was um, Creatology Glitter. Just any white glitter would do. Or that faux snow stuff would be pretty on it too. Yeah, I got a bag of that up here too. That faux snow that you can buy in the dollar store, you could put that flakes on it too. They're like silky little plasticky snowflake stuff. They're pretty. They'd work, they'd be beautiful on it, but I wanted more of a glittery effect. Okay, so I'm gonna take my big boy. Oh, see, I missed some spots. I see a couple spots I missed. I want to make sure it is glittery. It might be the messiest stuff on earth, but it feels so nice in your hand. And it's just like a silky, silky but glitter, but gritty. It's, it's hard to explain. But I love the feel of it. I don't like that it's stuck to me after. Despite, you know, how much you try to pluck it off. <laughs> but I love the feel of it when you're picking it off. It's just weird. I know. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to get my glue on the back. Now, if you have time, let it dry. Let your glitter dry. Um, let that dry first just makes it easier but because we're doing this live I'm gonna jump ahead in that corner just like that and then this sticks down then this piece of the border I'm gonna grab next quickly because I want to make sure it all joins together and I have it lined up and I'm gonna drop it into place see this needs to come down just a bit there we go because it it literally matches right in like a puzzle piece. And then if it was dry, it would be safe to do this. I'm going to get a couple of glitter in my watch. Press it down. You got it.
and it's an excuse to stick my hands in the glitter. Do I know if the Dollar Tree is open yet in Smith Falls? That's that new one you're talking about? Um, I don't know. Barb would know. I don't know if Barb's on tonight. Um, I know that they were... I just noticed it, actually. I didn't even know that's what it was going to be. I just noticed it... Um, when was I going through town? Last week? <gasps> See, I didn't wind it up. I didn't know it was enough. Oh, that's all G. Just a second here. Can I adjust it now? Nope. I can't. Stick the mask on. Um, I don't know if it opened yet. Sorry, I got distracted. I got talking and I forgot to line up this. So let me show you. It's not the greatest. Okay, see right there? It should line up perfectly. But it's not. <laughs> you see how there's a little space where the snow is? And where the frame is, that actually fits together very tightly. So, um, I should have worked. Um, I'm going to go to my last piece over here. Nobody will know. It'll be our little secret. You guys won't tell, right? So this one here, I'm just going to stick it right in there. And then I'm going to drop this last puzzle piece right into place. And it lines up perfect, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Except for I do notice my fingerprint where I removed the glitter. Out of the way. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, so I don't know if that Dollar Tree is open yet. Um, but it'll be interesting because the closest one that I have right now is I have to go to the or to the I think the one in Carlton Place, but I'm not sure. I don't have a place to walk and stuff. Careful is where I seem to go to the Dollar Tree. And it's just a small one. It's really tight corners in there. So it'll be, uh, it'll be nice to have a bigger one. You know what I did? <laughs> I'm going to stick some stick fest on there just because my Mod Podge isn't going to get into that groove very well. I'm also going to stick my stick fast down into this hole, this crack. And this crack right here, and this little crack, and I'm just going to drop on some more glitter. And it's going to fill up this little crack for me. And I know my people be the wiser. So I'm literally just dumping it on. Where was my other spot there? Where my finger had removed it. Knock off the excess. And there we go. See? And now I've got glitter. There's a little crack, but it's not bad. See? And I've got glitter right down into the crack. Isn't it cute? Okay. Now I've made a big mess. I'm going to slide this out of the way for a sec. Okay, so when this is totally, totally dry, you want to get your lights. Here's the fun part. Here's the fun part. 
We're going to take our dollar store lights. Dollar store or dollar tree? Let me see. Um, Dollarama. This one was Dollarama. So you're going to take your lights and you're going to start up at one corner. And if you had the bigger lights, like Christmas lights, you would need this, this space. But because it's um, just dollar store lights, you don't. So then what I would do is masking tape for now because I would be gluing it if it was going to be permanent. Just a sec. Let's grab a little pack and tape. Just so I can show you. But if you can get the shorter Christmas lights, like this has the long skinny bulb, but if you could get the, um, just a second, I might have the other kind of bulbs now that I'm thinking about it. Give me one second. They're still multicolor, I know that, but yeah, let's try these ones. They're still multicolor. It's wrong. It should be the white ones, I think, or red ones. But let's see how these ones work. Because I think that's what will hold it into place better. Come on. Untangle. And I know they sell them in just white. Come on. Wow, isn't that annoying? It's missing one of its light bulbs off. That one came off, come on, at the factory or something. Ones. I thought these things would pull off and then snap on and it would hold it into place. That's what I was hoping for, but I guess that's not the case. Okay, so I would grab some glue or tape, whichever, and if they were the short bulbs, it'd be nicer, so keep that in mind. But it looks pretty without. If you don't like bulbs idea, that's fine too. Tape right in front of me. Again, the masking tape is just a messy look, guys. You'd want to stick some, you know, seen that they cut a piece of felt and then they glue it over the top to hide all the wires if you're really worried about the wires showing. Personally, if it's in my house, I would just glue it down. Definitely not tape because, you know, that's just messy and not folding very well, but it's just the point to cross. This packing tape is not holding. It's just that um, painter's tape. It's not holding very well. So, just to show you, there is on these, it's, it says 10 LED lights. And it's not 10 LED lights. I don't know why they say that. Because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's 20, and there is 20 holes in here. So those will work perfectly. So just to show you how it would light up. Now keep in mind, these are the wrong colors for me, but let's hit the lights. 
Oh, actually, it does look pretty with colored lights, too. Isn't that cool? So I would just glue these into place on the back, guys. But, like, I think the lights really add to it. And actually, I like the colored lights. I didn't think I would like the colored lights at all. But I do like the colored lights. What do you guys think? White lights would be better, or do you just like the colored lights? Which would be your preference? Without having them glued in place, they're literally just popping out all over. But colored light bulbs or just white light bulbs? So I don't know why I might just go ahead and glue this all into place to make sure for myself. Um, I'm kind of liking it. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, guys. Stick this on a pole. If you have like a, a square, like two by two, and then you can glue this on the back or you could just like Velcro it on the back. But look at that. How do I get closer? There we go. What do we think? Oh, you did put the color lights in yours. I oh, see. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I do. I do, I do, I do. I do really, really like it. It's so cute. Where did you put yours, Christine? Where did you hang yours or set yours? It's so cute. Love it. Fabulous. Okay. Winner, winner. Somebody was, it'd have to be me. No, I'm joking. So far from perfect. Um, I do see the couple of glue spots right there, which is going to annoy the heck out of me. So I'm going to have to come in with my paintbrush real quick. Okay, I am going to have to go in with my itty bitty paintbrush. Nope, that one's hard as a rock. That was used for something else. Itty bitty paintbrush here. Oh, there's one. Itty bitty paintbrush. And just lightly touch up those. The light's got to be hitting on it right. Those little glue spots. Doesn't help that I got glitter in there too, but it'll totally hide those couple little glue spots. So I do go back and I do little touch ups after anything that annoys me. Is that glitter? Went to paint it and it was glitter. Now I scuffed it. There we go. Um, you will notice what you're talking about because you're saying it's scuffed. And if you drag something over the chalk paint within the first 48 hours, it's going to leave a little scuff mark, guys. Um, you can wet your finger and it'll go away. Uh, but after 48 hours, it's going to seal up this chalk paint, I should say. Not all chalk paints do. 
Some of them need to have a top coat, but this one does not. Um, Isn't it gorgeous? It was absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put the lights in tomorrow. We'll get a finished pick. We'll get this up on our Instagram. And, um, yeah. I'm happy, happy. And I'm ready to pull for it. On the top shelf. That shelf right there. Is that the cup shelf? I think so. I think that's the cup shelf. It would, it would look really pretty together. Oh, and it's red and white and it matches all your Coca-Cola stuff. You could have a, like a Santa Claus holding a Coke beside that. Super cute. Just saying. I might have to make something like that actually. I should write that down. I don't have a, I don't have a notepad for my little moments of thoughts. But we should have made a Santa Claus holding a Coke bottle. You know, my sister would have loved For sprinkling thank you thank you thank you and tomorrow I am back okay so tomorrow who wants to know what tomorrow's project is <laughs> if I say it now then I have to do it so let's look around and see I've got a few of them cut I have something for up here because we never got around to that actually I think I have two projects for up in there um, that I need done before Christmas and oh I know what we're gonna do tomorrow it's a biggie, guys. It's a great big project. Tina, you already own this one. We are going to do the North Pole laundry sign, guys. I'll have to get Brittany working on that. We've already said no more Christmas. We're onto our Valentine's designs. But now I'm curious, can we come up? It's going to be so cute when it's done, guys. It's got the little clothesline. It's got all the pieces of clothes. This is just hooked onto one of my tape boards for, you know, ready for tomorrow. But it's going to be so much fun. So the North Pole Laundry Company is tomorrow, guys. For sure, for sure, for sure. Provided, you know, the internet cooperates. Um, and that we can actually go live. Um, but I actually have two projects that we have to do for that stand up there. You'd have to change it out. It's not going to hold two. Um, but I've got two different ideas for it. There's so much left to do this week. Okay. I'm going to say goodnight. I'm going to catch some Z's. I'm going to try and, you know, quiet everything down in my head. Get some sleep. Relax. And come back and do this all over again with some new stuff. All right, guys. Sweet dreams. Thanks for watching.